about a year ago, I propagated this rosemary plant using a stem cutting. And I took video along the way to show you exactly how to do it, and I decided to share it with you today. So in that year, the plant has grown from a little tiny cutting to this beautiful plant, and I'm planning on planting it out in the garden very soon. You can use the, the technique for other plants, including lavender, and I have a video for that. But uh, let's get back to rosemary, and let me show you what you need to do. Propagating is essentially just cloning the parent plant and you just begin with a stem from the parent plant. Take it inside and with a really sharp knife cut just below a leaf node. That's the part on the stem where leaves are growing out from. Then gently pull off the leaves for a good inch and a half or two inches, leaving a bunch of leaves and then above those leaves make another incision just below another leaf node. Dip the end into rooting hormone powder and then push the cutting into your pot filled with a planting medium. Now you can use pure perlite, you can use sand. I'm using a mixture of one part perlite to two parts compost. Rooting hormone powder basically just stimulates those cuttings into forming roots. So once your plants are in the pot, water them really well, let all the water drain out, and then you wanna pop a bag over the top. You could use a Ziploc bag or something like this. The idea is really just to create a mini greenhouse effect to keep those cuttings warm, moist, and likely to grow. Six weeks later, and my little cuttings had definitely formed roots. I knew this because on turning the pot over, I could see them sticking out the bottom. So when your plants look like this, it's time to pull them out and to separate them into individual plants. And the best way to do this is with your fingers you can gently tease apart the roots without damaging them. If you're wearing gloves, you can't feel them as well. So just gently pull them apart and before long, you're going to have two individual plants that you can pot up. Now, I don't recommend that you plant your little plants directly out into the garden just yet. They need to develop better root systems before you can do that. And that will ensure that they'll be stronger, healthier plants when you eventually do plant them out. And I'm just putting them into individual pots and planting them with the same mixture that they rooted in. So that's one part vermiculite to two parts compost. And then after a good watering in, I let them grow on. And over the past year, I've also repotted them on a couple of times. And that will actually create even better plants, strong and healthy, able to resist pest, disease, and a lot higher probability of them succeeding in the garden. I hope my explanation on how to propagate rosemary was really clear, but if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I also have another video on how to propagate lavender, so if you're interested in free lavender plants, check that out as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to my channel. I bring out videos every Friday and I feature lots of gardening tips like these, beauty recipes, allotment tours, and all kinds of cool stuff.